Um, hi and welcome to the Museum of Cornish Life and as promised um, from our discovery of our slides connected with one of our magic lanterns I'm producing a little film to show you that the slideshow effectively that we think the teacher who owned them must have presented to the school children who attended the Church of England school in Porthleven in the 1950s. So the collection is very much mixed as was described in the note. So the note that was in the magic lantern box said it was a collection to share the storage of Cornwall and all those people who went around the world um, to do with the Cornish mining collections. So we've got a small set of photos of Cornwall and then we've got a larger set of slides that show um, obviously where the person worked and lived in other parts of the world and most of them come from Nigeria and Malia. So we'll start to go through the slides and I can show you what we've got in the box. And we're just going to show you all of them. So this first slide um, is Land's End. And then I'll switch it over. Oh, I've flipped onto my screen, don't worry. The next slide is the one we looked at, and I think, as I said, I think it's Lubar, but I'm not 100% sure. A black and white photo. And I imagine the school teacher would have been sort of explaining to the children that you know, the local context and maybe the landscape of why their family then went and mined across the world. So I don't know where that is. So if anybody knows, they can let us know. But it's an elderly gentleman looking quite dapper with a cane. Um, and I thought it was Cornwall, but I don't know if it actually is when I look at it. Let me know what you think. Our next slide here. Um, again, I think it's a beach in Cornwall. It looks like it. It's a cave anyway. And I'll see if I can be more smooth in lining up my slideshow. Here we go. And I think that's Kynans. And then, now we're starting to go further afield. This is another black and white slide. And we think... Looking at it, we think it might be Malia. We're not 100% sure. And I'm just going to read these as we find them. Um, so this is a photograph um, of a, it looks like maybe a young boy or girl with a pot in their head. Um, and then I don't know if it's a brother or sister with them, but I think there's a little baby on the back. And it's really interesting how um, people label things because actually this one says on it, Bauhaui, pa I don't know, I don't know if it says pagans, I'm not sure, Nigeria. So it's really interesting when you find how people label things in the past. And that's something we're quite interested with in our collection. And um, the language of how people talk about collections. And this one we looked at, so you can see, I don't know which way round this one goes. When I showed it yesterday, we had the lady in the lovely green dress um, on the right. So she switched sides today. Um, and this one is from Malia, climbing the tree, very skilled. And then we have this one of a boat. And it seems to be from transporting wood down a river. We've got this one. This one's labelled again. I'll see if I can read it upside down. And I think that's just in Nigeria again. It looks like um, this photograph's really nice and little arch. And I wonder if they took this because I wonder they're focusing on the costume because the people are quite clear. Costume, it's just their clothes. Um... And then we jump again here to an image. Ah, and I think I've jumped out of context here because I think that looks like Cornwall and I think that looks like people in uniform. Let me lift that one off. And here we go, and we're back on our travels across the world. We're now in Nigeria, and this says it's a tin mine. And I think, obviously, the gentleman took a picture of himself, um, and he's obviously put his hat in the hut. Um, I wonder, that looks a bit like a family photograph saying I'm here. 
And again, this is another slide with um, labelled in an interesting fashion. So this is Pagan Village, Nigeria. Um, and it seems to be an amazing bunch of cactuses. We're back to a black and white image here and it seems to be a kind of hut. Um, it was quite a large house actually, a large house on stilts. And it's got a sort of grass roof. Really large, it looks like a really big building. And here, this one is in Malaya, seen in Malaya. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, occasionally I keep jumping off the screen. I've got an elephant in a tree. And this one, this one looks like it's been touched up with colour. Um, it's sort of greeny yellow. And that definitely looks much more of a temporary hut than the other one. Um, you can see, obviously, is that a rucksack, I think, at the front? Um, and it's definitely been covered. You can see it's sort of got canvas sheeting and the roof's been covered. And this seems to be a photograph of um, people working. I don't know whether this was the mine itself. Um, and some of the people look quite young. Um, it looks like hard work, um, carrying baskets in their head. And I don't know if these slides were shown as sort of, I don't know, I suppose it would have seemed like far off land. Um, and this one here says flooded village. And I don't know if it's in Malia or not. So these are the slides that we have. Um, and I think they sort of show, well, it's a different a different landscape and a different world. Um, and I can't imagine what it would have felt like to sit in Port Levin and see these images across the world and know that I suppose there was the world different elsewhere. We hope you enjoyed seeing the slides.